Hello, in this video I will show you how to export a mesh from Gaia to another software. Here we have our terrain that we made in the Gaia for Beginners tutorial series and let's say I want to export it as a mesh. To do it it's uh, very simple, we add a mesh node that you can find by right clicking output and mesh and uh, you take it and you connect it to the end of your shape graph in this case it's this one because the other graph is for textures in this case the last node of the chain is the micro erosion so i simply connected the mesh node to the output of the micro erosion and then we have some properties here. First of all we have the option to save to build folder. This is uh, on by default. It will simply save everything in your uh, build folder that you set up in the preferences. Then we have the format. We have many formats here. Wavefront OBJ, the point cloud, and fbx. I usually use obj but you can also use fbx if you prefer. The scale is very important because we have three different types of scale. However the last two meter and kilometer are part of the same metric system so they are very similar. The normalized option from 0.0, .0 to 1.0 it will retain all the height informations of the terrain from a value of 0 to a value of 1 which means if you for example import the mesh inside a 3D software like Blender or Maya it will fit perfectly on the grid. In the other case one unit equal one meter the terrain will be exported using the metric system so if this terrain is two square kilometers it will be two square kilometers inside your 3d software so maybe you need to you will need to scale it down to fit it on the grid or to fit it in the viewport so the normalization option is usually the best option however not every software out there support normalization if you export using the metric system you will be 100% sure that your terrain will look good in any 3d application but if you export it using the normalized option then you must be absolutely sure that your final software where you will import the mesh support normalization otherwise it will give problem or uh, maybe it won't uh, import at all that's why i always export using one unit equal one meter but if you are for example exporting to blender uh, which support normalization you can use the normalized option we will see both in this video vertex count is simply the resolution you can increase it using these sliders the maximum is 8k i usually export it uh, at 2k because uh, they are very heavy in terms of uh, in terms of trees count in fact you can uh, read the number of faces which means the poly count here on the bottom we are at 8 million polygons then we have the option for squads it is not uh, enabled by default i always check it because by doing that gaia will export the mesh with all quads instead of uh, triangles we also have an option create walls uh, which i don't know the the function because uh, it's not in the documentation we have the LO LOD option, we can go up to LOD 4, Gaia will export 5 LOD 
LUD0 to 4 with different resolution. As you can see, it starts from 2K and then 1K, 500 and so on. This is useful for having many versions of uh, your theory at different resolution and it also useful if you are planning to export it uh, like uh, into a game engine. With that said, let's take a look at the build panel. As you can see, we have our mesher here, I rename it, by default it's uh, simply called uh, mesher and uh, we don't have a format because the format is chosen in the node itself. And that's uh, all you need to do because all the other options in the build panel are for the textures, so the albedo and the height map. The height map. So the properties for the mesh, they are all here. To export it, simply go to the build panel and start building. I already built my terrain, so I'll see you in Blender to see how to import the mesh. Here I am in Blender and let's import our terrain. Go to File import obj because i export it as obj then let's find it i exported two different versions of my terrain the first mesh is the one unit equal one meter and the second one is the normalized let's start with the one unit equal one meter leave everything at default and click on import obj it finished importing but uh, we don't see the terrain. That is simply because the terrain is just very, very big. If we zoom out, here it is. However, it's so big that uh, we have problem with the clip planes. There are two ways to go around it. First way is uh, open up the side panel here, go to the view and simply bump up the clip end from 1k to something like 10k or 100k and here is our terrain however we have some artifacts as you can see so what i recommend doing simply reset it to the default value with the terrain selected scale it down And here we go, scale it, scale it, scale it until it fit on the grid. And here we have uh, our terrain. You can also uh, use the shade smooth. So we have a nice smooth shading without those um, pixels. And this is the final result with the one unit equal one meter. So simply scale it down and uh, maybe apply the transformation if you want okay let's move it on the side and let's import uh, the other terrain the normalized one so go to file import obj mesh normalized and import obj this is the normalized terrain and as you can see they are identical the only difference is that the normalized terrain fits on the grid from the get-go while the one unit equal one meter you need to scale it down to fit on the grid because it uses the metric system but if you take a closer look at the detail and other details and uh, the, topo the to topology and uh, conformation of the terrain, you will see that uh, it is, they are identical. So from a quality point of view, there is no difference. However, if your final software support normalization, it's better to export a normalized mesh. If you are unsure, unsure where you will use it or you don't know if the final 3D application support or not the normalized 01 space, 
then it's better to export uh, a mesh with the metric system. And that's uh, how you export uh, a mesh from Gaia to another software. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like to support the, the channel. Subscribe to stay up to date with the latest videos. If you have any question, comment below. And I'll see you in the next one. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light.